front. So today I'm just going to be solving the squares of a few algebraic expressions. Two of them, to be exact. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first problem we're going to encounter is x squared plus 2 over y squared. Now we need to square this whole thing, whole square. So now we're going to solve this problem. This is equal to well. Now remember the formula b equals b squared. It's it's a squared plus two ab plus b squared. So so let's imagine that x squared is a and two of y squared is b. So if you imagine that, then let's continue. X squared whole square plus 2 times x square times 2 over y square plus 2 over y square whole square this might look like a pretty weird weird well you know thing expression but let's do it we need to do it still. So x squared squared. That's x to the fourth power. I'm going to explain this in another video. Well, but no. I'm going to explain this in this video. So x squared squared. How is this equal to x four? X to the fourth power. Well, we are literally squaring x squared. So x squared is x times x. And we're going to multiply that by another x squared. And we already have known that x squared is x times x. Now, if you combine all these together, we'll get x to the fourth power. We just need to add these exponents. So, x to the fourth power plus 2 times x squared times 2 over y squared. We know you also need to write this 2 here. So, we need to multiply these two. So... It's easy to multiply these two. So here we're going to use a little neat trick. Here, multiplying these two is hard, right? Right? Yes. But we can do it in a way. Is that the way is to imagine x squared as a fraction, like this is. How do we do that? Well, remember that let's say a random variable called a divided by 1 is always equal to a itself now we could apply the same to x squared so let's remove this thing so if you apply that then it will be turned into x squared over 1 so let's turn it into x squared over 1 here but then another question pops up how do you multiply fractions Yes, that's a question. Well, the simple thing, I'm going to explain the simple in this video. X is square here, which multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So, yeah, X squared times 2, that's 2X squared, over Y squared. Now, that 2 here, we could imagine that 2 over 1, which would give us, well, as we have 2 X squared, it will give us 4 X squared. So, 4x squared over y squared it is. Plus this. 2 over y squared squared. So what we need to do is just distribute this. So y squared square is already y to the fourth power. And we have 4 on the top. So plus y squared squared y to the fourth power. And we are done. We are done here. This is. This is the thing. This is the answer. So the answer is answer is x to the fourth power plus four x square over y square plus four over y to the fourth power. That's the answer for this equation. So now Let's continue. So, let me just grab this duster. Clean the board with it. 
Okay, so we're done. So, y of x squared minus y. So, how should we solve this? So, we're going to first write the equation y of x squared minus y whole squared. It's the equation. And remember the a minus b whole squared formula. Again. So, it is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So, let's imagine that 5x squared is a and y is b here. So, so first we need to do 5x squared. 5x squared, squared. 5x squared, squared. Now we should minus 2 times. Wait, minus. Minus 2 times 5x squared times y. We don't need to put negative y here. So, this is the thing. Next we have plus 5, well not 5, I mean y. Whole square. Yes, we could put a whole square there. We need to. So now let's solve this. 5x squared squared. That's, well, you know, we... Let's try that new little trick. So 5x squared is basically, we you know, we know as 5x times 5x times 5x. Well, you know, 5x times 5x. Just multiplying it with itself. Two times. And remember, the square, x squared, is not that, so we could not use that trick. But we could use this one. Four. Fourth power. It's actually the second power. So the thing is, 5x squared multiplied by 5x squared. That's the thing. Now we already learned that we should keep the fourth power here. Yes, we should. So 5x squared times 5x squared. So 5 times 5 is 25. And this is already x to the fourth, as we know. So here we should write 25x to the fourth. 25 times x to the fourth power minus well we need to do nothing here other than just 5x squared times y in this one's expression we have to do nothing just we just need to write 5x squared y that's all we need to write here because of you know multiplication is implied and we cannot multiply these that's the only way to multiply these, find x square y. That's the answer to that. So 10x square y times 2. Well, that's 10x square y is the answer. And that because, you know, 5 times 2. 10x square y. Next, we have y square. Y square. Y whole square. Y square. And we are done. This is the answer, and so we need to write answer, answer 25x to the fourth power minus 10x squared y plus y squared. So this is the answer everyone, and thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe and like the video, and comment so I get to know you and share the video and bye bye.